Hello and welcome down onto the tech desk and in today's video we are going to be going from this to this. And the way we're going to do that is by using this. So this is the Air Docky Kit from Extreme, right? I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of that with a discount as well. Um, this is pretty cheap, okay? So I've gone for the transparent version, but they also do it in black and white. Uh, they also do um, one with RGB as well, uh, but that's nearly twice as much. So go and have a look. Uh, it's really cheap to do this, and you get everything that you need for both the original and for the OLED dock. In this video, I'm only going to be doing the original dock, okay? I might do the OLED at a later date but but for the meantime I'm just going to be focusing on the original dock for this okay so in the, in the pack you get everything you need for both docks uh, so this is all kind of your plastic bits you get a couple of cables you get a couple of screwdrivers and a prying tool and a load of screws that you need fantastic and then a load of bit of plastic bits which will go through and then you get two USB modules and then a couple of springs as well but you notice I've only got one spring that's because when I've done this mod before I fired off one of my springs so just be careful and then finally we'll also you don't need this but I've got myself a magnetic mat here every screw that we take out you don't really need but you can use the ones that you take out okay so you're going to have far more you take out than you put back in but I've just got this just to put the screws that I take out on um, I've also got myself a pair of tweezers you don't particularly need them but it just makes it a little bit easier when picking some cables out and you're going to need two screwdrivers these two screwdrivers in here are okay. There's a four prong and a three prong, but I've got here a four prong and a three prong. I just like the bigger ones. And again, I'll leave links down below if you want to get hold of one of these one of these sets. I'll leave it down below. All pretty cheap off Amazon. So let's get all this tidied up and ready to go. So we're ready to go now. This is my original dock. Um, this is the one I did the faceplate mod on. This is my test dock. So this one's been uh, done for this a couple of times as I practiced it. And the first thing you're going to do is this back flap. You can just open that up if you want to, but I just find just pinging it off just makes life easier. If you're going to reverse this mod, you're going to need to keep most of this. So just put this to one side. You won't need it again, but if you want to reverse it back to a dock, you're going to need to keep all of these bits. Just put this to one side and then in here, grab your three pronged uh, screwdriver and you're going to do eight screws on here so one two three four and then in here there's one that one two uh, three and four so four there four there eight in total get all of those eight out and put them to one side Okay, then once they're out, this back plate here, this just comes out, okay? So all you just do with your fingers, you can just pull it out. Okay, like so. Again, if you want to reverse the process, keep that, else you won't be needing it for the rest of the mod. And then here we go. This is essentially your dock, this piece in here. This is the motherboard in here. So the first thing to do is pop off this black flap here on this cable, like so, ping that up, and then just pull that cable out. Okay, and then this will just come out using your fingers. There's a couple of clips there. So just kind of pull them up and then you can pull this board out, but do not pull it all of the way out, okay? Because when you flip it over, you've got yourself a cable that's attached. So put this down, just take this cable out like so, and then put this to one side. Now what we're gonna do here is we've got nine screws. So grab your four prong screwdriver, Three are really easy, you can see them, one, two, three. And then there's three here and three here in the holes there. You can see that. There's one, two, and three there, and one, two, and three there. You'll, you'll be able to see it with a naked eye, no problem. Just look down it and then you'll be able to see the screws inside. Okay, so get all nine of those out and put them to one side. Now we're going to take this bit off from the front piece. Just when you pull it off, you just gotta make sure that these two cables here just get through those two holes there. Just go gentle when you take it off, okay? Make sure that goes through that hole there. And make sure this goes through the hole there. And then we take that piece off. Again, you won't be needing this again, but if you wanna reverse the process, just keep that safe somewhere. And then with this piece, we're just gonna separate this bit. It's really easy. It's, you just kind of, the best way to just explain it is just by pulling it outwards okay so pull it outwards like that and then it comes off okay and then you've got your you've got your uh, kind of like your face plate of your, do of your dock just pull that cable bit out there and again you won't be needing this keep this to one side this bit cable that you've pulled out put this away you won't be needing this one again now take this bit flip it over and you'll see with your four pronged there's four screws 
in there. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so get those four pinged out. And then once they're out, this will come off. Now be careful because you've got a couple of springs here. You're gonna need these springs, all right? So keep them safe to one side. You could use the ones out of the pack, but like I said, I fired off one of those. I've only got three, I'd used to have four. Now on this piece on here, where the cable goes in, you'll see that there's a piece of paper on top of there. Just take that off, okay? So it's like a dustproof piece of paper. Take that off your USB and keep that to one side because you'll be putting that back on. And then we're gonna pull this cable out and you'll see that I've written USB here already on with using a Sharpie. This, but if you want to reuse this cable, if you, if you don't want to reuse this cable, you can just use the one that comes in the pack. Um, this one is nicely folded to where it should be. But if you don't want to use that one and you want to use the original one that came with it, just write on there USB so you know that your USB is gonna go in that way so you don't forget. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna ping up this black flap there and then pull it out, okay? And then just keep that to one side because if you want to use the original one, it doesn't really make a difference which one you use. And then on here, you've got two tiny little screws, little silver ones, one there and one there, either side of the USB port. Just, just get those two popped out and then the USB bit will come off, just keep that to one side. Now here, this is a bit of a faff, this bit, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and pull that spring out. So the way to do it is pushing it in and folding it this piece up, okay? The best I can describe it, all right? And then once it's up, you're gonna poke the spring out, okay? So just, it, trust me, it's easier when you have it uh, in your hands than to explain it. But what you're gonna do is, and again, be careful it doesn't fire out. Okay, then you'll pull, pull that out. Now this black bit is just in two pieces. This bit, it's, you've pulled the spring out that way. You're gonna pull this bit of plastic out this way. Okay, so pull it out there. Now you're gonna need this because this doesn't come in the kit. So even though I've got transparent, it's gonna be replaced with a black bit. So you keep that there and then you won't be needing that bit again. So you just put that to one side and keep it safe if you ever think about reversing the process. So finally, uh, just take that piece out. Uh, you won't be needing that again and you won't be needing this again. Again, if you need them, keep them. So we're gonna be now reversing the process. So grab your motherboard and we need to poke the um, cable back in here. If you're gonna to want to use the original one, remember that was for the USB, this was for here. So you'd poke that into there, else, we're gonna use this one because it is just nicely folded, okay? So we could just use this one. Get the side that has got the crimp around there and then poke that in, fold the flap on and you'll see that it folds down there, and nicely folds in like so, okay? And then grab, so grab this piece, first bit out of the kit, the plastic bit. You'll see it's nice and flat, apart from there's a bit, a big bit at the corner, one of the corners. That corner is gonna to go to your bottom right as you're looking at it and then you're gonna grab this piece, you're gonna get the, the USB and the HDMI to poke forwards that way. So you're gonna place it on like so, okay? And then you're gonna put in three screws. I'm gonna be using these silver ones that I took out earlier. You can use the ones out of the pack if you want to, and you're gonna put a screw in to there and down there. Okay, so we've got one in there, one in there, one in there. You'll see that there are other holes for it. Just make sure you're not putting them in any others. You're just putting it in that one, that one, and that one. So next up, you're gonna grab this. This is from the kit, and we're gonna grab a USB. Just make sure you get the right one, okay? So with this one. So this is one that is for the original dock. And then we're gonna get this cable, and we're just gonna poke it into this piece here, this black piece, so poke it in and then fold down the black flap and it will stay It will stay in there for you. Gonna poke them into the USB. So this is your motherboard. This is the bit from Extreme Rate. Poke them into the USBs like that and just fit them in like so. So you've got a cable coming out the side and this big long cable coming out the top of there. I've just put this one side because we're just gonna build some other bits from here, okay? So from the kit, you're gonna grab this piece and remember this piece, this is the black piece that came from the original dock that we said didn't fit. And we're gonna put this, so like, so it's like this, we're gonna put this through the center and then fold it up. If you do it like that and it doesn't come through, okay, you've got it around the wrong way. Take it out, flip it around like that, and then it will go through easy. 
Okay, so it's only can only go one way. And then we're gonna fold it down. So if you look on here, there is a circle there. Okay, that's where your spring is gonna go. So get your get your big fat spring and you're gonna place it on that circle and you're gonna fold it around, okay? So it is, a, it is easier than when you were taking it apart. So fold it around and pushing that spring in, okay? Making sure that that spring doesn't fire off and then it will, it will sit down there at some point. So just get this, get it in there like so, okay? So we've got it sat in there. Can you see the spring in there? And then we've got this bit here. Trust me, that's a really easy bit. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. Just take it easy, okay? Just making sure you've got the circle bit of this black piece on the underside of here, okay? Then we're gonna get this, the USB. Uh, that's gonna fit nicely on there. And we're gonna put that, screw that back in. Uh, I'm gonna use the original screws that came out of here. So these two ones, two little here, get them screwed into either side of this USB bit. So now grab your motherboard bit with the cable. And then this end is going to go into this USB where we've just put the USB in. So make sure the black flaps up, cloak it in with the blue side facing upwards and then fold that black bit down. There we go till it's attached and then grab your little bit of piece of paper that we took off earlier. Put that back onto the USB like that. Now from here with the cable kind of this bit coming out towards you, it's going to be put down onto here like so. So just make sure that the cable comes out of there, it spins around and goes underneath here and then up through into there. Now, if you get this sat on here, it should kind of find its own way down. And then once that's in, got four screws, one, two, three, and four. I'm just gonna use the uh, four silver screws from the set of nine that we took out earlier. I'm just gonna be using those four. So get those four plumbed into there. Then once that's done, you're gonna grab this part of your kit. So this is kind of like the main dock part and where the two USB bits are, we are going to be putting our other USB bit. So that just rests on there. So if you look in here, you'll see that there are three pins here. That's where it's gonna rest on. And then obviously you'll be facing out with the USBs. So just place it on there. And then we're gonna put three screws in, one, two, and three in there. And again, I'm gonna be using the silver screws from the set of nine that we took out earlier. So get those three plumbed in. And then once that's done, grab the motherboard back again, get the, um, the LED uh, cable that we pulled out earlier and just plumb that back into the motherboard, into there like so. And then you're going to poke this back into its housing. So look at the way that that's gonna be going in. So like that, and then just slide it in, okay? And just make sure that the, kind of like the cables are out of the way. So just feed them down the side just make sure they're out of the way okay so they're not kind of protruding from the outside of the case now dive into your pack this is where we're going to start putting some rubber bits on this is a little bit fiddly but it's okay if you take it easy so we're going to get this this um plastic piece here and on the back you want to place this rubber pad this is where the um uh, tweezers come in really handy okay so we're gonna be basically putting this piece on here like so okay like that okay and that's gonna go in here so grab your kind of main dock bit and where you so if you get this down to the bottom left top right get it like that and then it just slides in there's a place for it to sit push it in there like so, okay? And that'll stay in there, it won't fall out, so it's kind of nice and sat inside there. Now we're gonna build it, so get your um, two pieces. Now this cable here, this bit cable here is going to go into the top of here, okay? So if you hold it like that, so that this board between these two fingers and this board here, it should be okay. You should be able to just get it close enough to poke in. So get that poked in and the black flap down, and then we're in, okay? And then get it all clipped together, okay? So, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna force it in and it will satisfyingly clip in. 
Next up, grab two of these springs. Be careful with these, they will fire off. And you're gonna place them onto these two pieces here. You can't see it because they're quite transparent, but it's easier. There's a pin there and there's a pin kind of there. Place the two springs on them and they should just stand up like, like so, okay? So it's kind of like sat on there. And then similarly with the other one, just put that on there and then leave it and it should just stand up on its own, okay? So just be careful and it's gonna rest on there for a second as we get this piece. So this piece here, the, the kind of the, where, the, where the switch sits on and you're just gonna place it onto here over the USB and grab this piece. So keep this held down, sorry. And then this piece here is just gonna fit on there and this is just gonna snap in, like this snapped in, it will snap in, you don't need to do anything, okay? So just be careful with it, put it in side there like that and then push it down keep pushing it down there we go can you hear it snapping in there we go they were all in okay just be careful with that it does take a bit of kind of effort but it's okay once it's all snapped in we're all good for that bit. Next bit is gonna be this bit. So this last plastic piece, it's obvious which way it goes because there's only one way for it to go. And again, just fit it on the back and it just snaps in like so. And then we're gonna do a couple of rubber feet. Okay, so we're gonna put one rubber foot there and one rubber foot there. So into your pack and go around and have a look. Make sure you get one that looks like that. And again, these tweezers are really helpful. We're gonna put one there and we're gonna put one there, okay? there's the other one. Then flip it over and we're going to put four of the rubber feet into the four corners and you'll see whether there's a space for them. So four of these into the corners. So there we have it then. That's it. That's all done. This is the transparent one. White and black are available. Like I said, links down below where you can get hold of this. I hope this guide has been useful for you. I hope I've um, given you enough tips to be able to do this. Like I said, it's a bit of a fact. It's not too bad building it. Taking it apart's a bit tricky. Uh, so only the last thing to do is just to test it. So here we are then. I've got my OLED here, Joy-Cons and my external monitor. So the external monitor here is plugged in via HDMI and the power into the dock. If I just place my OLED onto there, there we go. So we got it working. And you'll see there the green RGB there for to show that, that it's charging. So this is a fantastic mod. Um, it's using all of the same parts, so there's no worries about a brick in because it is essentially an official dock just repurposed into this small portable form factor. I think this is one of the best mods you can do. It takes a bit of time, but it's an easy mod. Okay, get this one done. Go and have a look at links down below. I hope you get on okay. And until the next video, bye-bye.